Hello everyone, Ram. This is the presentation of my experience and skills related to instructional design. Alright, so let's start with my experience with learning management system. So for Blackboard, I know Blackboard is the behemoth in higher education in the United States. I've been using the Blackboard as a student for over two years. To be frank, I don't have much experience using Blackboard as an instructor or an administrator behind the scene. But however, I'm familiar with other learning management system, which personally I would prefer to use. So for example, I'm quite familiar with um, Google Apps. I'm also an administrator of Google Apps for the current organization I'm working with, the International Professors Project. I'm one of the administrators of their Google Apps. So three years ago, when I was still an um, TOEFL instructor, and so I, I designed my um, TOEFL curriculum using the, the Google Apps. So I use the Google Drive for content sharing and storing, Google Calendar for synchronizing dues and remind my students of the deadlines, and Google Hangout for meeting, um, Gmail for communication, Google Docs for word processing, Google Sheets for progress tracking and grading. And finally, the Google Slides for presenting. Um, so, but, so, so you actually can see the, the Google Apps is free and it can already provide um, the, the basic functions of an LMS, so I've been using that. The other learning management system I've, I'm familiar with um, first is um, the Canvas. Uh, and another is Coursera, uh, for which I've been, um, you know, taking tons of courses from. And my experience with HTML, I'm quite familiar with HTML, so basically it's not very difficult. It's not a program language, it's just a markup language. So can, you can have a sense of my familiarity um, with HTML through going to my website. You can click this block right now so you can visit my website www.rensroom.com where you can have a sense of how familiar I am with HTML. Except HTML, I'm also um, familiar with other programming languages like uh, Python processing and live code. Now I'd like to talk about my experience developing online and hybrid courses. So for the uh, course development process I'm familiar with is the Addy paradigm. I think any instructional designer is familiar with Addy, um, the paradigm, and I was pretty lucky um, to learn Addy from the, the person who actually came up with Addy himself. Um, I was lucky to learn from Dr. Robert Branch, so he was my teacher on this course, Addy, and um, thanks to him, I had tons of experience using Addy during a lot of my course projects. For the course quality guidelines, there are a bunch of them that are pretty handy right now. One is Udemy. Udemy is a is a place where you can create a course yourself, you know, uploading videos, so, you know, teach people how to do some sorts of stuff. Um, they have their own version of this quality check. Um, it's really short, and I think it's really concise, so it doesn't take you that much time to check the quality of your tutorials, things like that. So that's pretty neat. And another is the national standards for quality online courses. 
But this one is somehow more like formal. It's also um, quite handy, but this is more related to the design and development of the K-12 contents. Um, now I'd like to talk about a specific course that I have developed. And I think it's a great showcase of my instructional design experience and skills. So I suggest you can click this block right now. So I've designed this video tutorials called how to use your DSLR like a pro. So the reason I, I choose this one is because I'm both the uh, instructional designer and uh, the subject matter expert behind the design and development of these video tutorials I put on YouTube because I'm uh, you know, like a semi-pro photographer myself. So they all started with this idea of me sharing my knowledge of, of, about photography with anyone on the internet who'd like to know more about photography and know how to use their DSLRs better. That's the idea. And then I just uh, designed and developed all those presentations. And also for many graphics designs in tutorial, and also I'm responsible for the video production. So, so in a word, I'm the sole person who's instructing, presenting in these tutorials, who design these tutorials, and who produce these tutorials. So I'm the sole person who, who was responsible for that. Finally, I'd like to thank you guys for um, giving me this opportunity to sharing my passion of instructional design with you guys. I have another video talking about my ideology of instructional design. You can click the link here so you can see this um, th another video I have made to talk about my ideas about instructional design. I know that probably I'm not the, uh, the most experienced candidates in the field of instructional design, but I do promise you that I'm a fast learner and higher education has taught me to become a problem solver and a critical thinker. And for myself, I don't think there's any problems we, we cannot solve with diligence and perseverance. That's all for my presentation. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.